Okay. We move. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, good morning to some of you, according to your location and the face of the planet Earth. We welcome you all to our today's live broadcast right here from our homeland radio studio here in Biafra land where I am broadcasting from. I remind the fellows that thank you for joining us. I remind the fellows I feel evangelist Mazamara Tumachuku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is now Nairi. And Nairi is a local government in Ojiriba province in Biafra land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Nam Ikani is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in DSS solitary confinement, illegally detained. And that is why we continue to push because we have put Nigeria in a very state of confusion that they will never escape from it. It doesn't matter how they pretend, you cannot defeat us. Nigeria have they, they, they took action as if we are nothing. And at the end, we are still here. They say they will crush. They will do this. They will do that. Still, we are here till today. The Goliath, the, the Hitler, he came. He did all his best. His cabals did their best in his absence. At the end, Muslim can defeat them. They left him in detention illegally for a new government to handle because the government that started this matter 2015, the government of Buhari, even in the absence of Buhari, his cabals went ahead, sent Tami to go and kill him because there was no Buhari then. The same Buhari's government are the people who went to Kenya and kidnapped Namdekan. At the end, what God did for us was that he made sure that Tunam Khan defeated that particular government and he was discharged and acquitted under that government that kidnapped him. That government from 2050, so that they will not say, hey, we did not defeat us, it was us. He defeated Buhari's government. So what Tunubu inherited are empty case file, empty file. So they are just doing it like this. Doing it. In Tinubu inherited nothing. His government in the case of Unam Khan, Trier ended before Tinubu came. Trier ended. So we move on. The only thing is that they set up no election using the infiltrator to do no election, to use it and then um, deal with Unam Khan. But it didn't work because it, had there been no election in the East, the Nigerians will turn against us, every Nigerian. They will say that um, they voted for P2B, but IPOB will stop it. So the whole Nigeria want Igbo man to become president, but IPOB will stop it. So nobody should talk about an American. That was their latest trap under Tinubu's government. That those who shouted no election, that there will be no election in the East. So they will say that it is IPOB. They know the group today now. They evaded the camp of these very criminals. They are still calling IPOB. The same way they will call IPOB. But IPOB did not call for no election 2023. But had we not stop it, they will use it against the Namdekan. By now, nobody will talk about the Namdekan. The world will be against the Namdekan for going against the democratic process. Because they use his name and do it. Nigerian media will carry it out, that IPOB is stop it. I like will say that it will, and P2B have 99% to become president, that IPOB is stop him. Even Tinubu will be supporting P2B. Tinubu will say that he wasn't ready to become president, that he wanted to just want to contest. He know that P2B will win, because, but he don't know that IPOB helped. Even INEC, it will be an express road. P2B will not have anything to argue in court because he will have 10% voting in Anambra. Other states, there will be no voting. So there is no how you will lose Southeast by voting, no voting, no voting exercise. You will be dragging a You will live here, you will be dragging rivers. 
you will live here, you'll be dragging Lagos. Had there been no voting in Nemo, in Abia, in Enugu, in Anambra, in Ebony, P2B will, have, will not approach any court. That was when we destroyed them. That was their last hope. Why they disobey court order, right? So since then they fell, they started doing like this, doing like this. Their belief is that they, they, that Tinubu witnessed no election in the East. Then Tinubu used that anger and that politics to deal with Namdekano. But at the end, Namdekano become a freed man. He's just been a political prisoner now. He's not forcing any charge, nothing, because IPOB guided it. Had we not neutralized that no election, uh, you cannot, uh, uh, you know now, Igbo people will announce it. The whole time union president in the whole eastern region, they will announce that no IPOB meeting in any community. They will announce it. They will say, now we want to make you move my president. Igbo man is supposed to free Namdekano, but you, IPOB is stopping. So let us go to the topic, please. Let us go to the topic. Very, very important. So let me go there now, please. Let us go there. I want you to be seeing it. This is Nigerian Army update. You know, the other day I was asking, who knows where they are decorating camp? But this one is not decorating camp. This is camp of criminal. Do you understand? This is the camp of criminal. And before I move forward, I will drop the word. ESN have no camp in Okigwe. And not, I am not using this as current, that is, this ESN has no camp in Okigwe. It's not current declaration of IPOB. This is 2022 declaration. Let me just go there first. Before I go there, look at the picture. The Nigerian army invaded the camp of these criminals. And our topic here says, will the criminal come out and claim their camp? Because... IPOB will not allow you to give their glory to another people. When IPOB gave ESN command order to make sure there is peace in our land by December, after that December, some House of Red members came to take the glory. IPOB said no. Do you understand? When we came to claim to take the glory of the works of ESN, we also waited to also w take anything that comes out of it. We we'll defend it. Right? So, now, how can people have this camp of criminals? The same thing happened to Osei Yitopa. Nigerian army are aware of this camp. Nigerian army helped to establish these camps. Right? They have to establish these camps. When Osi Itokwa, after finishing job with it, they shift from Osi Itokwa. They told these criminals to leave. When they left, the Nigerian army invaded the Osi Itokwa camp. These people have been making mouth with it. They say it's their, their, their Biafra army headquarter. But when it was invaded, after the army has been done, is done with them and say, leave this place. We want to destroy it. Right? When they left, they destroyed it and captured new, new criminals that they just imported new. They didn't inform them. They used them as a um, sacrificial lamb. So they told them to relocate to Okigwe. They relocated to Okigwe, the same camp. They started doing the same thing. You see us every time I come to brokers, I expose them in Okigwe. I have met different brokers of their kidnapping in Okigwe. Mazitina Samoru and the Radio Biafra have exposed them. Other media warriors have exposed them in Okigwe. That uh, double, uh, what is his name? That um, Angel, 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 what is his name? Angel Kennedy. Right? And them um, sources and the gentle. They are the people that are leading that criminal gang. They have killed many people in our own resort. They have killed their kidnapping. They have made people not to come back to our own resort. They have made people not to come to our own resort. 
Excuse me, just for a minute. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nothing and nine five. Oh, I'm busy. I'm busy. In the to long, I'm busy. I'm busy now. We continue. We continue. So, and Jamaica, thank you. And Jamaica, so that the people. Who left all at that time? Or say he took one. Or say he took one. Right? So now. Nine. I didn't busy. I'm not a studio. Nine. I didn't too busy. I got my own call. Uh, because near nine. Oh, I didn't busy. I'm not somewhere. I'm going to work. Bam 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 they made people of our on this org. I know many people that don't travel home. We keep exposing them. We keep exposing them. We, do you know that all the roads they operate, people don't pass them? Now, I ask them, what kind of security are these people that will be, guide, will be a security of the people? But the people they are guiding can never pass through the road where they are. But the Nigerian army that we know that is disturbing us in our land, people pass through. People pass through checking point where army are. But any road this criminal are, nobody will operate there. Ask yourself, what kind of army or security as they claim is that? Where security of the country operate, the citizens will be passing through there. Hence, there is no war. They are there for the citizens. But these people tell you they are army. They guide you. But these people, any place where they are, nobody will operate them. But where Nigerian army set up checking point, people will pass through there. Higher they will stop you. Higher they collect money from you. Higher they just delay you without collecting anything from you. But you will pass through there. Higher they delay you. They cause hold up. You, but anywhere this criminal are, they say they are liberation army. Nobody will operate them. Don't you see video they publish? Video where they are parading stolen vehicle. They have killed the people they have that have those hillocks. They, they have killed the people that have those jeeps. They now print a sticker. They and place on it and say the Afra liberation army, the Afra. Do you understand? Now why is it that whenever they are operating, they are patrolling there at that road where they capture? No motor will be passing through them. But if Nigerian army or police is going on the road upon what they are doing to our people, people motor will still be passing them. But where these people operate, only them will block that road. Nobody, you will not hear them because they are terrorists. Only where the terrorists operate is where normal human being does not pass through. That is where you will not pass through. It is where terrorists operate that people will say, don't follow this road. Criminal and terrorists are the people who stop people from passing a road. Imagine Nigerian army will allow you to pass through your road. Highest they will delay you. But these criminals, they say they are army. You can never pass through where they are. Now, let me show Nigerian army. I want to shock them now. I want to shock them. You know, they used to overspeed. Let me make this um, so that they will see it very, very well. Look at the date. I want to deal with them now. Oh, yeah, look at it. 
ESN has no camp at Okiwe or Hafia, IPOB said. Now, what is the date? November 10, 2022. Are you understanding? That is how we deal with matters. I told our people that some of IPOB press release works like antibiotic. Some of them work six months. Some of them work two years. Some of them work three years. Some of them work even ten years time. Some of them will work when the Afra is restored. This is a press release against Nigerian army blackmailing. But look at it. Look at the date. Look at when they said they invaded the IPOB camp in Okibwe, ESN camp and Ohafia. Look at IPOB press release 2022. And to, in 2024, Nigerian army is telling you they invaded IPOB ESN camp and captured ESN IPOB in Okibwe, around Abagi. Are you mad? Then I still want to bring 2024 on. I want to bring 2024 on. This is 2022. We don't have camp. Look at the date. <laughs> November 10. I do not I feel being alarmed me. I ain't alarmed me. Very simple. I ain't gonna be my no gri, I no gri. Nam the canoe told us, I no gri, I no gri is not an argument. This kind of no gri, I no gri. We're gonna show you face to face. I no gri what? We they do such argument. I no gri, I no gri. It's a lie. We don't do it. Let me show you again. Oh yeah, read. IPOB denies existence of ESN camp in Okigwe, condemns government collusion with criminals. What is the date? January 28, 2024. What else do you want? What else do you want? I have brought 2022 update where they said the IPOB, uh, IPOB said they don't have camp in Okigwe. I have also presented 2024 update, January. Why is Nigeria in July 2024 telling us that they invaded IPOB ESN camp? Are you the one that will tell us our victim? People have been telling you, lying. People will lie. Hey, we have army. We are liberation army. We are government in exile. <coughs> I have analyzed this thing to our people. I ask you. Even that one from old people or from uh, where? Is it from Ongebu or where? Say he is fighting for Biafra. His, the name of his group is Biafra National League. Even if they are ten, even if they are five, they have name. If they do something, call them by their name. Innocent George, Biafra National Guide. That is their name. Even if they are twenty, that is their name. Innocent um, Benjamin Onwoka, he leads the African Zionist movement. The one who named the kind of campaign for his release, 20, uh, 2014 and 2015, he was released. Ben Onwoka must be released. You must release Ben Onwoka. I was in Enugu awaiting trial when he was brought in with his men, with his old, old men. You know, his, his supporters, his followers are old men, veterans. In 2013, Ben Omoka. After Nambikano's campaign, he was released. Right? Ben Omoka must be released. I was there. He went to Wabara Square and hoisted the Afra flag. So they brought all of them in there. Nambikano said he is a determined man. He is a real freedom fighter. Free him. He was freed. So let us continue. He lead BZN, the African Zionist movement, BZN. Right? Now, was Rike leads Masob, movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra. If they want to declare Biafra, they, they will say that the group that declared Biafra is Masob. If they declare government in exile, you will say that the group that declared government in exile is Masob. Masob, Biafra group, Masob. Led by Wazrike, have declared government in exile. Are you understanding? Now, Nam the Kano leads IPOB. Are you understanding that freedom fighting group must have a name? You, the, you cannot bear the name of the whole people because not everybody buys your idea. So you must handle a group 
that you'll be commanding. Then it is your activities that will be attracting others to support you. You don't include everybody into your struggle. You must lead a group. Those that will be loyal to you, those that will believe you, those that will be, you will be leading. You don't lead the whole people. You cannot lead the whole Biafra people. You cannot force businessmen that don't believe in you. You cannot force politicians that don't believe in you. You must lead those that believe in you. Then others are well wishers. Others are lovers of freedom. Your people will support you through that group. They must have a name. You cannot operate without a name. I know why I'm analyzing this. Because people, we are uh, told them the strategy of the government. They refuse to understand. Then, today we will also, I have told them before, and I will still analyze it now, as I am doing. Now, if IPOB Nam the Kano declare Biafra, if IPOB declare Biafra, they will say that IPOB declare Biafra. Are you understanding? IPOB declare Biafra. If IPOB declare government in inside, they will say that Government in Ensa is declared by IPOB. Are you understanding? If IPOB declare armed struggle, they will say that IPOB have declared armed struggle. Do you understand? You will hear that IPOB declare armed struggle. It must be a name. You cannot just say we are armed struggle, we are armed struggle, or we are government in Ensa, we are government in Ensa. Who declared the government in exile? What is the name of the group? Until you ask yourself that, then you know. You know that government of Nigeria told them not to have a name. So that their crimes will be tagged on IPOB. If they have the name, they will call them by their name. And the IPOB is telling Nigerian government, call them by their name. You must call them by their name. You call myself by their name. You call IPOB. IPOB launch ESN. We never run away from it. You will say IPOB ESN. Now, who launched the government in inside? Who declared the army? What is the name of the group? They don't have name. That is why when they commit, you target on IPOB. Do you think we don't know it? Autopilot is not a name. It is a declaration. They said their first struggle have entered autopilot. It is a declaration, not a name. What is their name? Government in Ezra is not a name. It is a declaration. What is the name of the group? Until you call the name of your group, then Nigeria will not stop calling IPOB your activities, tagging IPOB your crime. Now you understand. So you see the game. You see the game, what they are playing. Now, if they are existing, they will come and claim their camp. They will come and claim their camp. But they want IPOB to take the glory of their camp. They have tied it an IPOB. Why can't they come say, hey, this is the Afra Liberation Army? No, you cannot do it. But they will call and claim shooting of army in Aba. Are you understanding? But they are camping, they see you talk, but they don't claim it. You will see all this criminal gathering. They don't claim it. But to small time, they will tell you, we have your hey, we have your army. Nigeria, we have killed Nigerian army 500. But only how many was killed in Aba? Army was deployed in Aba. But they will be lying to you. We kill Nigeria. Army. They don't want to announce it. Hey, what we are doing? They don't want to bag. If you kill one Nigerian army, they, will, they must come there. Are you mad? Then somebody, hey, we, we just we, we shoot to damn fighter jets. Because you don't have sense. You don't know you are not the person that will tell Nigeria you shoot them. They will tell you they are lost. They will tell you if their own die. The only people that Nigerian army will not announce their death or will not announce their death is Nigerian army that paraded as a headsman in disguise. So if they fall victim anyhow in the hand of any security that is fighting for any headsman, they don't announce it. But somehow they will look, they will use system and revenge to that community. Because they cannot say that army was killed in the bush when they were rearing cow. Do you understand? But Nigerian army that was officially sent in our community, you say that you have criminal gang, the army. They kill Nigerian army. 550. And in Nigeria, they don't want to announce it. Hey, we are dealing with the Nigerian zoo, army. They don't want to announce what we are doing around our body. Are they afraid of you? It is in their advantage to announce the death of their own. It will give them grant to invade communities. 
Who told you you kill Nigerian army, they will keep quiet? Only Nigerian army that went to crime, commit crime. If this crime is in the open, if the crime is in secret, the Nigerian army will see revenge in that community. But if it is an open crime, Nigerian army will take the person and they try the person in that room. After that, they will submit the person to the police and the person will go to the prison because it's police that will take him to prison. They will return the person back to state CID and 2IC will handle the matter. Um, AC, Assistant Commissioner. Do you understand? So now, we continue. So that is it. You can that is how they lie. Hey, we, we kill Nigerian army. I run about it. Just like Nigerian army will come and tell you, we kill IPOB members. You you are mad. Only IPOB that will never forget their own. IPOB will be announcing the mission of their own. IPOB will be announcing the illegal detention of their own. IPOB will be announcing the killing of their own. IPOB will publish their pictures. IPOB will announce will give press releases. IPOB will announce them on Radio Biafra. IPOB will send agents to go and look for them. We never run away from our own. When you see Nigerian army telling you if they kill IPOB or they invade IPOB camp, it is lie. These are the people they sponsor. This thing they are doing is the reason why they recruited them. So that they will be using them as an advantage. You are not in position to tell us that IPOB is for victim. It is IPOB that will tell you. Nigerian government is aware that even Nigerian army and police, they are aware that IPOB members that are in their detention facility, they have never announced it to the world. IPOB have been demanding, we go to North to demand for our own. Those, those are our people in the North. When did Nigerian army announce them? Those they killed the no people, have you ever seen them announce it? I want to ask. No, Nigerian army, the graveyard, in Onecha Barak, where you throw IPOB family members, you killed on the 29th to 30th May 2016. You threw us in, there is a graveyard there, mass graveyard, where you put us, mass grave, and you use caterpillar in Onecha Barak. Did you announce it? The, the, the seven, um, Graveyards we discovered in the forest in Biafra land after Python does. Did you announce it? No. Those you threw into a river, you know people. Did you announce it? No. Those you kidnapped in Delta State using one commissioner of police, a Fulani man, Hafiz Mohammed in Noah, under Ifan Yokoa as a governor. Did you announce them? No. Those you killed in Emene, 23rd of August, 20. 20. Masaka. Did you announce it? <laughs> no. Who are they? He, he cannot announce it. Those that have been killing in the boy, did you announce it? Those you killed in National High School about 9th of February 2016, did you announce it? The answer is no. And you announce, you announce, you, this time around, you tell us to invade IPOB ESN camp. IPOB ESN camp. Can you go to IPOB to ESN camp? For IPOB, IPOB does not have camp. It is ESN that have camp. IPOB is IPOB is a freedom fighting movement fighting under self determination, right? If we are not fighting for freedom, we will still launch a security outfit against terrorists. When we see the how that the government have compromised by telling us that these people are foreigners, they are invaders, and that we should give them their, our land without agitating for Biafra, it is our right. So, IPOB did that for our people. That is why the name is Eastern Security Network. IPOB is separate, but we launch ESN for our people out of, because, of, um, because of the negligence and inefficiency of duty of the governors. We wrote to them that this is their duty. It is their constitutional right to secure our people. They failed. So, IPOB now know, we now um, resolved that we cannot restore empty land. Because we must restore a Biafra that have human beings. And therefore, we cannot allow Fulani Hesmen to kill our people. And when we restore Biafra, or when we call for referendum, we will not see anybody to vote. So we launch ESN. ESN is a charge of necessity. 
We never planned for it. Had the Eastern governors taken their position, you will not see us around there. In our meeting ground of IPOB, ESN does not come there. Whenever Nigerian Army or police or DSS invade our meeting camp, do they see ESN? Have they ever seen any challenge? So ESN does not attend meeting with us. ESN is a security outfit that Eastern people have the right to, to launch, even without any agitation. They have the right to organize themselves and launch a security. It is our right. But when Nigeria is talking about ESN, it will be as if they are Biafra army. It is a lie. These are vigilante. We have the right to do it for our people. Now you understand. So IPOB is a family. We have our meeting in houses. We have it in churches. We have our meetings in halls. So we don't go with the gun. We don't have gun. ESN have they are gone in the bushes against Lani Hesmen to make sure we have food, to make sure that our women will not be raped, to make sure that um, our people will not be kidnapped. That is their duty. And they will never stop. So, let us continue. Let us continue. Thank you. Thank you. So, do you understand when did Nigeria start announcing the killing of IPOB members? Because Sinan Bekan is in detention. They expected IPOB to, to, to fall into criminality. We refuse. They use their criminal to be doing it and they'll be targeting it on IPOB. Who doesn't know the truth? If IPOB would carry gun, will you see a checking point in our land? If IPOB carry gun, will your, all those your police station be in our land? If IPOB carry gun, do you think that the governors will be parading here? If IPOB, don't you see that? If IPOB carry gun, will you hear press release about we warning anybody? If we have gone, how can we warn those of them? How can we warn a politician through press release? Are we mad? If we have gone, what am I doing here? What am I doing here? Doing here what? For what? Because I cannot shoot. If we have gone, what am I doing here? That is why the people that say they have gone, they drag social media with us. It doesn't happen here. It is, if you have gone, declare armed struggle, the sound of the gun is the sound of your voice. But if we don't have gone, this microphone is the sound. That is our own means of voicing. So that is why we blame those that have gone. Every time they will be here, videoing. That's why you cannot see ESN here. The enemy will confirm you. Not you coming to show us where you gather somewhere. Playing band. You go and shoot in a, one side of community. Everybody will run away. You start playing band. Around there. You start playing band. <laughs> you say it's a Biafra army. <laughs> so if we pick up gun now. Somebody will be sitting on a size, size, size tool at a checking point in our land because you are God. You know, you created the world. No, we pick up gun, the barracks will be intact. Because we know all of you, Nigerian army, they are God. They created the world. That's why we will have gun and they will be operating. Even, even without IPOB, if ESN leaves the Fulani and go after the army and police, will you stand it? Is it an IPB ESN? IPB ESN? If ESN leave the push and come for you, will you stand it? They will fight strategically, not in a criminal manner. Strategically, they deal with you. Will be con will deal with you the whole state the same day. Nobody will give you a chance to import army from Zgombe or Nasarawa because your army is not complete. We will confront you the same time, the same day. You, you, you confirm war. Do you think we'll do hit and run? The same thing happening in Bayesa will be happening in Rivers, happening in Kwai Kwai Bomb, happening in Bayesa, ha happening in uh, Cross River, happening in Enugu, happening in Boni, happening in Imo, happening in Delta, happening in Rivers, happening in uh, Anambra. Right? Happening in Abia. And some other areas. The same thing as this year, a two division is getting the heat. The same way 103 Bakali on Enugu, the same will get it. Nsuka will get it. Okiko will get it. Iwo, Wero Opens will be getting it. 
or the Chabala could be getting it. Every barrack, the same thing. We don't care about those that went out. We must collapse the barrack first. Let us see where you go back and stay. Then we'll capture those that left the barrack for patrol. We'll capture them with the hand. Because, because the room where they will return to, there will be no more home. So you think oh, if we carry gun, we'll be doing shit, uh, hit and run, bringing trouble for our people. Are we mad? So if IPOB want to be terrorists, we'll be terrorists in Ibo land. Because God will come out our brain. If we want to be terrorists, we'll be terrorists, we'll take our revenge to the north. And the, any other Nigerian part that we see that have brought anything or, uh, that have caused our suffering, contributed in our suffering, we cannot be violence will be on our people. So now you understand that Nigeria did it against us. The same Nigeria that recruited terrorists, Boko Haram, sponsored them. Their vice president is involved in Boko Haram. Terrorist. He is now vice president Shetima. The same people that killed Northerners is now vice president. The same way they are destroying our people because here is not part of Nigeria. What they do, they don't care about the citizens. All they do is to kill us and they come and occupy it. That is why their approach of the army and the police in our land does not show that here is part of their land because if there is part of your land, if there is any crime committed, you will approach it and look for the criminals, not mother, papa, children will be involved. That is to say, you came here to conquer. You want to conquer here. It is a way to come to, a, to operate in a conquered land. It is a way to operate in a land where you want to desolate. People that call for a land and sea blockade, was it war? It is to desolate the land, and that is not war. It is genocide. Thank you. If we carry up gun, we know our son will Look at Nigeria I mean that toast women at checking point. So we have gone, you'll be toasting our girl at the checking point. So we want to be violent, so we'll be violent on our people. The same people we came to save. Because we are mad. These are Nigerian recruited criminals. All you see, okay, oh my god. Don't you see that we, our approach is press release? Or in this manner you see me? Have you ever seen me? Do you see any governor? That's why they started attacking politicians. They first of all killed Chika Akinyele. They wanted the, to take the war to politicians because they know that IPOB used to say about evil politicians. So they wanted to kill them. That's how Nigeria fights. They don't care what they will benefit from you tomorrow. As far as they will kill you to target on IPOB, they don't care. They killed uh, Ahmed Gula to make sure they target on IPOB. They don't care what will happen. The same way they, they kill people in Burundi, Planted Boko Haram. They set up the army. The army was killed and they recruited the terrorists to replace the army. All they care is to remove Jonathan. As far as Jonathan will be removed. So, when they are carrying their agenda on our people, that is why you will be seeing Nigerians. They will tell you, people that have never condemned a land and sea blockade that brought Bashoko, they will tell you, IPOB is causing economic problem in the East. IPOB is killing their people. So, if you cannot show concern and condemn the 1967 to 70 genocide, you are now showing us love. Now, I want to ask Nigerians if you see like people like Ivan Omokri, people that cannot condemn the absence of seaport in our land, they will tell you, how they be designed the East? Condem Before you take anything from them, they must condemn a land and sea blockade. They cannot do it. Then, then the same game I, we told you that Nigeria Army wanted to play, it failed. They wanted to use these very criminals. Thank you, Elder, thank you. And to make our people to hate Biafra. They wanted to use this criminal and make our people to protest against Biafra because it is the only our people that will protest against Biafra. The world will hear them. All this thing coming up from Nigerian state, the world knows it's blackmail. That is what the state will bring. They know. They expect it from Nigeria. There's the world expect it, all these black men. Because it is if we are violence, we we'll frustrate our people, they will protest. Our people know the criminals that are killing them. But Nigeria refused to call them by their name. That is to say they recruited them. How do you re recommend people that recruited people? How do you take them? Those people who commit offense, they will target on another person. And the person will say it's not me. The next one, they will commit offense, they will target on you. How do you define it? Are they not the people? Are they afraid of the people? No. Because 
they recruited them. So they will be shedding them. Do you know that for criminal to commit offense, a Nigerian army will target an IPOB. It is promotion of criminality. Are you not aware? It is, this is professional. The, that is, Nigeria is, what is, what they came here is to destroy here. Do you know that if group of criminals are doing something and you keep on, point, even in your house, if your child do something, you, you start torturing other children, do you know the child will be happy? He will do it tomorrow. What are you doing? You are completely shedding away that child that is doing it. Is that, that is a very clear strategy. So that he continue to do. Nigerian army, call the criminals by the name of their group. If they don't have name of group, call them individually. Don't target on IPOB. We can never run away from our own that is for victim. In the hand of Nigeria. You are not the one that will tell us this person is your member. When did you start telling us our member? But you are looking for IPOB members. So you now know us. And no, no ESM. Eh? When the concert died, did we not say, we, did you announce it? Is it not IPOB that announced it? So how do you think that you will kill ESM? One ESM personnel is greater than Nigerian Army 10. Because they are volunteers. Nigerian Army receives salary. And they want to get rank. You cannot compare them with a volunteer who do not expect any rank. There is no rank there. And they don't get salary. So how do you qualify Nigerian Army? One ESN is Nigerian Army 50. They take salary, isn't it? So are they the same? Do they not fight and they expect to be ranked, to be to get high rank? Then how do you think that we we'll lose an ESN? I will not will not cry. Because we are evil. So you are the one who will tell us that we lost ESN in your hands. Hey Nigerian Army, this is you want to play. You want to say you came to rescue our people. Is that not true? That Was that not the program? Our people should not mind my, uh, my appearance, please, my environment. That is how it is. I'm, I'm asking. When do you start playing good? To tell us. Okay, how many IPOB did you kill? 20th of January 2017. IPOB in solidarity with Donald Trump. In Igor Chat, where you call but I caught. Okay, how many did you kill? Uh, uh, tell us. This flag of Biafra you used to bring out here, and you say it's Biafra flag you saw in the camp. Okay, tell the world that you born USA flag and this Israeli flag and Biafra flag in rivers on that weekend. Uh, I tell the world now. No, you cannot tell them. How many people did you kill that are in solidarity with Donald Trump? How many did you kill now? You cannot tell us. No, no, I can't. But you give us account of ESN and okay, you are mad. But only 70-something corpses that discovered in Law and Tabush that was killed by Fulani. Did you publish it? No. You, we are blaming Alex Oti for exposing it. But you say you expose evil. You were against Alex Oti, isn't it? When did the Nigerian army start being good? A Yoruba man will say, hey, IPOB is killing people in the East, but a Yoruba man will not say, hey, Nigerian government that deny Eastern as a seaport, hey, is it because of our people wolf? No, you not say. A Yoruba man will not say, hey, I, I condemn the 20 pounds given to them. No, he will not say it. A Yoruba you will not say it. They will be showing you love. As far as they will condemn IPOB. They are now showing you love. Hey, but they are disturbing the economy of the East. They, they are disturbing the people. So if IPOB want to terrorize, we will terrorize our people. Don't we know our enemies? Are we foolish? So we we'll come and terrorize us. What is it? Do you know who we are? Do you know that in IPOB meeting, we have, if we discuss to go and kill a Biafran, do you know it will leak? Do you know we don't discuss to kill a person? We come to meeting and go. In Abara, a Biafran that you discuss with to kill somebody may leave the struggle tomorrow. Do you see why we don't kill? The person who go and leave, that why is it that all the people that left IPOB cannot go and tell you where they kill somebody with us? We don't kill. If not, they would have run to government. Namdekana have never discussed killing of anybody with anybody. If not, those that left us, that are bitter within Namikan, they would have gone to the government and give them evidences. 
So we don't kill. We just come and deliver messages how to guide our life from the anger of the government who is here to kill us. So how is it that every IPOB instruction is to save life in Biafra land? Then we turn around and command the same people. Do you think you can send Biafra to go and kill Biafra from IPOB? Don't you know that Biafra always remind us what we discussed? We can never wicked our people. So you recruited political criminals to come and be killing our people. You keep targeting an IPOB. Are you the one to tell us our victim? Or you tell us how many you denied bail? Tell us. It are good. We know how long it took us before we, we could be able to see it are good. Some of us are still missing. Some are still in the northern detentions, northern barracks. You cannot announce it. How many times did you announce our people you killed in Obi? You will not say, hey, the time you the years in the camp. How many did you kill in Obi? Did you announce it? Did you video it? How many did you throw into the water? How many did you load on trailer and take to Obi? Uh, to the north. No, you not announce it. That you tell us you invade ESN camp in okay, but I will say remind you. Let me remind you. Diana had one 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 YPOB. Oh yeah. This is twenty this is September 10, 2022. ESN has no camp at Okigwe and Ohafe. 2022. <laughs> Shame on Nigeria Army. But you came on 2024. 2024, July, you say you invade ESN camp. Look at 2022. See how we mess you up. Yeah, now you see how prepared we are. Now you understand. <laughs> Let the criminal come and say, this is our camp or no. Tomorrow they will share. They will share. Immediately they kill them. The other day we were telling you, we know they captured the criminals. In Ebora, I don't deserve. These people have killed people. But that Ebora, Gentle and Jamaica, success and their other gangs. Army killed them. We first of all exposed it. They dodge Nigerian Army dodge from as, as, from announcing it. We exposed it. We said they will say they catch IPOP now. They now wait for a few days. Is it a day? Or uh, they now came up. Hey, we invaded IPOP ESN camp. 2024 July, July 7 or July 8. <laughs> That's why you invaded ESN camp in Okibe. Burn it down, capture, kill and capture members alive. But to look at uh, <laughs> press the list of IPOB. 10th November 2020, we have no ESN camp for. Now you, you, you who is a liar? <laughs> who is now a liar? Okay, okay, maybe 2022 is far. Let me show you 2024 press release. I'm going to hear you. I'm going to tag you. I'm going to hear you. Where is that 2024 press release? What do you call your word? Uh, look at it. No, this one is July 9. Let me go. Not this one, please. Not this one. I'm coming. Let me look for it. Let me look for it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Can I make a hand up? I have C2024 here. IPOB denied existence. Yeah, now you get the, the other one, 2022. We don't have camp in Okiwe. Right? Now imagine this language. IPOB denies existence of ESN camp in Okiwe. Existence. We never had a camp there. Do you get the English now? The other one, we don't have camp. That is the beginning. Now in 2024, it have never existed in Okigwe. This is what? January 28, 2024. Now let us go back. Mm 
Now, look at this current one. Naming arrested criminals, ESL operatives, unprofessional. What makes it unprofessional? IPOB said, because we have exposed these criminals, because we have told them we don't have camp there, because Nigerian government knows how, knows that these are criminals, because Nigerian government refused to call their name. So it is unprofessional. From two headlines I have shown you, if you see that 2022 and see that 2024 January, and somebody come in July 2024 to tell you that it's the IPOB camp, ESN camp in Okigwe, it is unprofessional. <laughs> now, now you understand. IPOB and I said, I don't Unprofessional. See, they can be very, very. Unprofessional. Doshi. Nigeria, I mean, Doshi. Referendum is only thing. Is it propaganda? Rubbish. Propaganda will not do anything. Referendum is the key. Thank you. Thank you. We continue. So that is it. Our people must continue to expose them. Just because that people got that, people are now talking about Freedom the Kano. They just come up with this one. So that uh, those uh, who is kicking against is the reason. Say, tomorrow I think I will get a chance to analyze why the Finland based buffon, the idiot, came up to say um, South East governors do not have legitimacy to negotiate for Mazin and can release or Biafra. As if it is a blackmailing, it is. An accusation, and he want to use it to blackmail us, blackmail them. They can. I will analyze. I will analyze it tomorrow. Do you know what it means? He's trying to present us to see that the governors are now negotiating for us. That the governors are now negotiating for them. It is not that way. The governors gathered in Enugu to discuss about their security challenges in the east, and in line. When they check everything concerning the security, they discover that the detention of Namdekani is also involved. There are other ones that are involved. They say, okay, based on Namdekani's issue, that they will meet President Tunubu for political solution. What actually do so? Because Namdekani was not convicted. Had he been convicted, they will go for amnesty. Do you understand? They said they would meet him. They did not say they are going to discuss political solution. They did not say they are going to negotiate with president. Is it not the kind to negotiate? Now, let me put it online. Now, when they do that meeting, before they go, as they said they are going to meet president to free Nam the Kano, because it will help them in their security challenges in the East. Understand this. Not for our freedom, for their challenges in the East understand it. Now, they now sent senators. The governors have not met in Namdekano. The governors now sent senators to go and meet in Namdekano and ask him, if you negotiate with federal government, will you obey? Now, Namdekano, instead of him, he is very a, a very intelligent man. In, they expected Namdekano to say that it is Nigerian government that will disobey. Do you understand? Because they did it in 1967, after Abu They did it in the bail of Nam the Khan, 2017. Do you understand? They did it again in 2022, October 13, appeal court. So do you know what Nam the said? He said, I am ready to abide to every, to the agreement, anything reached. With the federal government, he did not say, "I have, uh, I, uh, I am." I, I, I say, "I will, 
have um, agreed to abide to Tinubu's to President Tinubu's uh, 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 condition. No, anything they discussed, he will present our need, but we do not want it in custody to happen there, right? But wherever you want to take Namdekanu to, it will not make him to present who what we need. Anywhere you take him to, he will present it. There is a way you try to do it, he will say he will not he is not interested there. That is in Namdekanu for you. But the issue is that the governors are not negotiating for us. They went to they said they want to see the governor, uh, the president. Then they send senators to confirm. Do you understand? Now, when senators confirm from Namkan, they now went to the general and told him that he is ready for negotiation. Are you understanding? That is the game. So, then it is left for Nigeria to come with their approach. So, it is left for Namkan to say, I want this man to be here. I want this man to be here. I want the man to be president. I want this man's cons um, consent. Have you informed this man? I want him to be aware. When that time comes, he will inform them. So these people are not negotiating. But the Emirima came and said that they have no legitimacy to negotiate. He's just trying to blackmail us as that. He just wants to present us to be a friend that after all this thing, we want the politician to negotiate. No, they are not negotiating. We are the people that wear the shoe. We know where it pinches us. But they will give the government their own demand. The government will also present it to us. It is left for us to present our own. Nigeria is looking for the way they will favor them. IPOB will look for a way that will favor their people. It is a dragon. Do you understand? There are ones they will say, no, we don't believe, we don't want this one. And there is one they will bring who say we don't want it. Do you understand? So, and the, it is our duty to say, this man needs to be here, this man needs to be here. We'll now invite them. So, but he wants to use it to blackmail us. To say that we are now surrendering to politicians. I will analyze it. I will give them a broadcast on that. You know, when they want to run away, and he's still he's also using it to raise up hand to the politicians and telling them how they abandon me. Because it's like they have left him. That's what he was seeing. So he wants to throw himself in so that he will be active. You know, because uh, the release of Nam Dikan is a serious sickness to them. So I think I will leave it here because. I will give it a broadcast. Yes, that is terms. He will abide by terms. That is anything we agreed on. What does that mean? Don Namdekanu, he's not even talking about himself. He's just trying to tell them, I am sure of myself. But what about Nigeria? That's what that language means. It means, I am sure of myself. But what about Nigeria? Will it obey? But he will not throw it to them like that. <laughs> because before Senator will meet Attorney General, Attorney General will ask them, have you met him? Did he say he will, uh, uh, he's ready for negotiation? So that's why they meet him. So they tell Attorney General. So it is duty of the Senators, uh, the Attorney General, to approach him. Then he will say, okay, if that is so, I need so so person. I need so so person. Or I need I need it to hold so so place. I need it to hold. It's something dragon one. Day. That's why we try to guide him so that he will not have a stain while discussing with him. If Hadun Namdi can have a stain, that is international terrorist tag, he will not have a confidence or a free ground to discuss and to drag with a sovereign nation, a country. Do you understand? So we guide the struggle that he will not have a spot. But Nigerian army and police is trying to make sure they, they put spot on him. So that somehow he will be like somebody that uh, they pardon. You know, the, the condition the army is fighting now that they come up with this fake news of our uh, ESN camp is that they want to put Namdekanu in a condition of not being freed when discussion. That's one thing they pursued before. They want to discuss with him as if, uh, uh, let him be in the condition uh, uh, we just mercy for you. Have you ever seen somebody that offended the parents, that refused to do what the parents told them, told him to do or her to do? Then, when the parents come back in the evening, do you know that that child will not just come back to the house? He know, he or she know he has offended the house. She knows how the family will do. Uh, the parents will react. 
he or she will go and look for somebody who is in good time with the parents that that person will bring him back home. Now, if that person bring him back home, and if the parents accepted that person, go inside that house and see how the condition of that, that very person that was given amnesty. Do you know you it was pardon? When somebody bring you back home and beg your parents to accept you, they accepted you on that pardon. Do you know that if they give you food, you don't eat it freely? Other, others will be eating freely, you'll be eating with the fear because he's under amnesty. That is the condition they want to put on the canal so that he'll be discussing with fear. So anything they read, they say, it's okay, go ahead, go ahead. So he'll be like he's on chain. That is under amnesty. You are expecting to uh, that they may flog you in the night. Who knows, after eating this food, oh, do you understand? You cannot, even to sleep, you don't sleep well. Because your parents accepted you under amnest, under pardon. <laughs> under pardon. <laughs> Thank you. So, I'm not going to get a couple of years as a criminal. Do you understand? But we make sure that we make, we said, Nam can become, that is, he has no stain on his body. That will make him to succumb to you. Do you understand? So what he did, what we did, is to hold our people. And today here we are. Nam can can approach any temple, any government in the world without shaking because he has no stain. Nigeria know that the local stain, which is prosecution of IPOB in Nigeria have nothing to do. They need international stain. They need international recognition of IPOB as terrorists. That will be their backbone. But such did not happen. Now everything is in Nigeria. You proscribe them in Nigeria. You are now saying they are terrorizing their people instead of terrorizing the North or Yoruba land. Who will believe such? We want to free our people. We are terrorizing them as if we are foolish. Mad people. From me, from here, it is good evening. Thank you. No, they cannot hold meeting about seaport. They are conquered people in the world now. <laughs> One man. <laughs> Don't you know it's only IPB that is free to talk? No, now. There are things that politicians will demand for. That's why they keep begging. They are not full citizens. No. Are you not aware? They defeated them in the world now. It's only IPB that clean their own face and face of their children with peaceful protest. So the world started seeing us as human beings. We were blackmailed. Our fathers were blackmailed as rebels and they gave birth to us with the image of rebels. So we were not presented before. It was when we started protesting peacefully that we break those yoke. So the world can accept us to come to them. We can write to any government in the world. We can protest any part of the world that are, are, their constitution allows protests. So do you understand? Then they even give us asylum. Before you cannot do it because you have bad image, but it's still working on our politicians in Nigeria. If they demand for something from the north, they will beg. And they would, there are things they will demand, they will tell them, are, are you mad? Don't you know you are, a, you are our slave? Don't you know you did? Is it because we allow you? We will allow you. <laughs> so they cannot demand for everything. That's why we want, we expected them to use the advantage of our protest to achieve those things. They went and called Python dance. Ah, I said, ah, what kind of people is this? You see us protesting peacefully for freeing Namdekano and the Northern the Nigerian state was calling you. Now, nah, why do you leave IPOB to the protesting? It was your time to say, okay, you know, they talk about to seaport or you give them seaport. 
Let us talk to them. You know, they are our children. If they do seaport, we'll continue. You say, okay, there's one thing again you do. Give us international airport. If they do it, you say, hey, I wish you can give us one embassy. I wish. Give us one embassy. Let us see. You give us. This was what we expected. We wanted them to do like in the you to achieve these things. But uh, if a fool and they call them, stop by them. They say, okay, we'll stop them. We'll stop them. I say, look at you, a fool. When I used to tell you, some way, no, 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 <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There one.